Arch Initiative was funded by the National Science Foundation. It's probably one of the most bold and transformative initiative that we have taken in changing the academic curriculum. It brings in experiential learning at the very sophomore level as part of foundational experience in civil engineering. The newly formed School of Civil and Environmental Engineering and Air Sciences is focusing on things that matter, things that matter to society. So before we started our project, we really reached out to all of our alumni in our pro from our program. We also reached out to our industry partners to determine what the students felt comfortable leaving our program with and what the industry professionals thought that our students were maybe lacking or good at when they entered the program. Our students are great uh, in their technical skills, but where they lack is professional development and specifically with their communication skills, both oral and written. So this program builds communication throughout their time in their undergraduate program. From their sophomore to their senior year, they are building these skills. By the time they graduate, they have mastered public speaking, they know how to write different forms of technical communication, and they're able to bring those skills into the workplace. In the Arch Initiatives program, we start with the foundation that's provided by our general engineering program. As they enter civil engineering, they're going to be provided a civil engineering mentor. We call them cement mentors. And those mentors are going to provide lateral support throughout their program. The Cement Mentor Program is our department's peer mentoring program where our junior and senior students are mentors to our incoming sophomore students. We feel like this is a great way to provide the ability to create community in the department as students are transitioning into our department from general engineering, as well as create a sense of belonging for our students. I've had the, part, the opportunity to participate um, with Cement as a mentee, a mentor, and also as an instructor of the class. I had a mentor who provided me with emotional, academic, personal support whenever I needed it, and that was a really important part of my coming into the civil engineering department. The first blocks that you lay in an arch construction are called the Springers, and these are the two first classes that the students will take in their sophomore year. And so we've been focusing on the engagement of students in class in a project-based learning environment where they are applying all of the professional skills and teamwork approaches to problems that they'll be using in industry. The Springer course, as students like more than anything else, is this design charrette. And in the design charrette, we have students working with stakeholders. The students actually talk about their project and the stakeholders have different things that are interested to them. And this interaction between the students and the stakeholders is much better than the interaction from, from coming from me. Who are stakeholders? How do we address the needs of various stakeholders in an equitable way to make sure everyone's needs are met and addressed? We met with the owners from ESSO Club. We met with athletics because this parking lot is also used for game day. We met with the university and parking services because this is an overflow lot during the week for additional commuter parking. We met with the Army Corps because this parking lot is also access to the dikes. So if they need to do any maintenance or do exercises, they needed to be able to have access to it. So we made sure to incorporate that into our design. We also have um, local residents that reside about 30 to 40 yards upslope from this parking lot, and we wanted to make sure that their needs were also met. The second series of courses, kind of in the middle years of the program, are called studio courses. And in the studio courses, we are looking at kind of moving the student from the conceptual phase of a project into more of the preliminary design phase. So what's a studio course? Well, it gives the students a chance to take the things they learn in Springer, all of their communication skills, and then apply them in a more advanced course. And so I teach them not only all of the different engineering that's typical of a junior or senior level course, but I also give them a chance to apply all those communication skills in the context of this subject that they're working on. So I like to say that it uh, gives them time to practice what they learned in Springer and to polish their product on the way to being very successful in Keystone. And the last block to form the arch is going to be the Keystone. This is the culminating design experience class. 
And through this class, they're going to formalize themselves as professional engineers. And it's gonna give them that experience that is true to what they're going to see in the workforce. We believe that the upgraded civil engineering curriculum is accelerating the student's development of the civil engineering identity by enabling them to feel what civil engineering is all about at their sophomore level, long before they graduate.